So here we are having the pasture curve and uh, you are going to be the brave model and please tell us your name. Stacy Cooper. And Robert is going to explain how this medieval torture device work on people. Here you go Robert. Um, pasture curve is used for people that uh, have lower back and upper back problems and what it does it's like two knuckles when I have a uh, therapist uh, massage you sometimes they use their knuckles or the elbow and you can see right here on the elbow and what it does you land on the floor or you can even put it in your car seat and what you do is lay it on the floor it's more intense and you get in deeper with it when it's laying on the floor let, let me demonstrate and I have a person right here the show yeah well you want what I want you to do go ahead lay down at the bottom first okay. and bend the knees. The knees got to be bent like this right here. It's got to be bent because it's more intense if the knees are spread out. If you spread them out like this right here, you go even deeper. But we're going to start out with uh, bent. Now go ahead and lay down okay. and you can feel what side is tighter than in the air than the other. Mm -hmm. And we'll hold it there for about 30 seconds to a minute. And after that, then we'll move it up about an inch or so, and you could feel it as you move it up. You could feel where you're tight and where you're not. Okay. okay. Now, also, now, tell me if this is too much for you. Straighten the legs out. Does it feel any more deeper? It feels deeper. It feels fine. Mm -hmm. And then, now let's now come up for a second. Spot yourself. Let's move it up just a little more. Lay it down. Feeling that? Oh yeah. And as you go That's up, it may may even pop back into place because you're stretching the muscles that come into the spine. Mm -hmm. And also, if you go up higher, the muscles that come in where you breathe with, mm -hmm. it'll help loosen that up. And also, if you're a cyclist right. um, or a swimmer, it'll help get into the rhomboids a little bit higher right. too. Okay. And stay about 30 seconds? About 30 seconds to a minute. Now come okay. back up. Let me go ahead and bring you up to between the shoulder blades. They're like a like sweet spot right between yeah. the shoulder blades. Now go ahead and lay back. Is that hitting it? Now cross your arms too. Cross your arms. Feel that? Mm-hmm. And that'll hit the sweet spot. And also you it's can... not get, sweet. I call it sweet. <laughs> but some people, uh, it's 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 love-hate. But, but Do lean you to rock one side. At all? You can go to one side and you get in deeper to that side yeah. and more you cross those arms if you want to if that's too much for you don't okay. do too much and you can really get in that really gets in and breaks up that scar tissue mm -hmm. in there too feel that oh yeah and a lot of people like that because it'll help loosen up the neck because that's what causes it to tighten up from the neck down if you're tight it'll cause everything to tighten up all the way down okay now let me show you into rumble come back up and then go ahead and lay down. Okay. Let, now I'm going to cross your leg over like that. Now roll that way just a little. And we're going to get into the piriformis. And, piriformis. and it'll hit that sweet spot and keep that crossed. Okay. Feel that? And lean in on You'll feel hit that sweet spot. Is that hit? And hold it there about 30 seconds to a minute. And if you hold it there, and you'll feel it, and it'll loose and take some deep breaths, and you'll feel it release. And if you want to go deeper, you can straighten the legs out a little bit. Is that too much? No. Okay. And bring it. Feel that? Gets uh -huh. even deeper? Yeah. Now, in the back, you, is that the farthest you take it up, or do you take you it You can take it all far? the way up to... Uh, up to the neck. Yeah, because I was feeling really getting it here, and yep. I actually did a lot of cycling this morning, and I felt like, okay, you get the upper back. Didn't yes, it? it'll go all the way up, and when you do that, when you take it all the way up, you'll feel the blood flow. When you get up, you'll feel blood flow through the whole back. It'll feel warmer because you're straight retraining that muscle and lengthen back out because the therapist is going to do the same thing. Massage is number one, but this this is more intense, and it gets in the areas that you need to concentrate on too. Right on the back. Can and Stacy, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Uh, yes, 
I am I'm in Atlanta and I actually am an exercise physiologist and I teach cycling classes. I teach boot camp and I also have a Pilates gym and I do yoga and I'm very, very um, positive on the effects of doing trigger point and this type training for all of my clients. I think it's very beneficial and as I tell them, you will be skiing at 100 if you do these type things. You'll be sitting in the the in front of the fireplace at 55 if you don't take care of your body by doing the release points. So this is a great. So how would you evaluate the posture curve so far? I think it's wonderful on the back on the um, the pure formis. I do a lot of trigger point with um, lacrosse balls and tennis balls, so I'm used to that. But I love the back and resetting that, and I think that's one area that a lot of people forget about. And having it both sides is wonderful. And I'm excited about getting the upper, the very upper back, because I felt my breathing had increased just by having it in the, the mid-back. So it was perfect.